we have to watch where this lake effect band sets up when it finally gets going where it moves to so there's a lot of moving parts but one that we're going to continue to watch for you now let's take a look at skywatch this morning it's a nice calm beginning to the day temperatures are right near the freezing mark and those southeasterly winds will help out the lakeshore communities for today we're right near freezing right along the lake erie shoreline between erie pa right up to about Ni niagara falls in the 20s from jamestown to bradford and olean it's those southeasterly winds that help us out and that's what you're going to see as our temperature forecast goes into this afternoon mid 40s for buffalo notice the southern tier remains in the 30s this continues even into the overnight where our numbers aren't going to be moving much by 11 p.m we're still in the mid 40s however the winds are going to be picking up we'll have rain showers arriving overnight and staying in the 40s near near the 40 degree mark for the southern tier and closer to the 50 degree mark by Thursday morning. Now, as we get into it, we are going to deal with a lot of things that are changing, not only in the temperature department, but how things progress with this winter storm. From the soaking rain, we switch it to snow Thursday evening, and then lake effect snow eventually sets up for Friday. That's why this winter storm watch goes from Thursday evening through Saturday afternoon. As we take a look at 7 Super Doppler, we have been mainly dry. We're going to see some sunshine out there today, and the system that is going to give us all sorts of weather is coming from a thousand miles away. This arrives through the overnight, continues into our Thursday, and likely is going to see this begin to change Thursday evening, switching to snow showers, some areas of black ice or standing water freezing as temperatures plummet into the 30s and even 20s. We'll likely see a couple of inches of snow on the ground for our Christmas morning, with snow continuing to fall generally across western New York for the morning hours. It's not until the afternoon that this intense lake effect snow gets its act together and starts to move from the deeper south towns in southern Erie County and moves northward towards the metro area. An update shows that things shift just a little further south for that foot of snow, two to four inches into Niagara County, four to eight coming closer to the metro area. And that same line goes out towards Batavia with the bullseye being across the Boston Hills and the deeper south towns and right along the Chautauqua Ridge as well. Outside of that lake effect band, it tapers off quite a bit into Cattaraugus and Allegheny counties. As our numbers go, we end up from the 20s on our Christmas day into the mid 20s for Saturday before temperatures wind right back up into the 30s early next week.